Hey, what's going on there, everybody? Mr. Richard here, and today we're going to talk about side hustles, right? Because you know that you could take some of that side hustle money and convert it to long-term money. So what I want y'all to do is I want you to, we're going to go over some side hustles that um, are trendy or some side hustles that a lot of people talk about. And um, I want you to apply them to your lives and see if you can make a little extra money. Because a lot of people say, man, there's not enough money to go around. I can't get an LLC started. I can't pay this debt off. But you just got to be more resourceful or spend that extra time instead of watching football and watching the black, the black, the black charrette. The bachelorette is you need to start, you know, spending some of that side hustle money, uh, side hustle of that time and start doing the side hustle. So everybody who knows me, I'll talk about one of mine or a couple that I did back in the day. So um, one of them was free cycling. I talk about it all the time. OK, free cycling. You get on Facebook, you get on Craigslist or you get on some social media platform and you search the term free. Um, and then whenever stuff comes up, you just say, hey, sir, or ma'am, is this free? Is this item still available? If so, I can pick it up today or I can pick it up. So so one thing that you what one thing I just did. Is that I. Asked, was it available? I asked and determined the price, and then I said I can come pick it up. So I'm almost not wasting any time. You know, you can almost copy and paste it. Hey, 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 how you doing? Is the uh, hey, how you doing? I'm really interested in this. Is this 100% free? If so, I can come pick it up in the next 24 hours or something like that. Copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. If you could put it in your car or you could put it in your truck or you see value in it. That someone else will get great things to do furniture couches dressers tvs bikes that type of stuff you know just stuff that you can just take from somebody else because they'll either have a garage sale people get rid of stuff all the time garage sales moving divorce illness in the family someone passed away they have a whole bunch of stuff that they don't have or need anymore another great thing you can do you can go to um, go through neighborhoods that have garage sales and about 12 o'clock or one o'clock because generally garage sales go from you know seven to 11 maybe 12. everything they don't sell that's still good they'll just get rid of it put it on the curb drive by the curb pick it up throw it in the car clean it up take a picture right then and there put it on facebook or whenever you go pick up the TV or go pick up the couch or go pick up the bike, you just say, hey, I'm going to take a picture to see if my wife or my spouse or somebody wants that or my friend or my neighbor or whoever. Just for my neighbor, I'm going to take a picture to see if they want it. Click, upload to Facebook. Hey, uh, $75 will deliver for $25 fee, $100 total. Right? Take it, put it in your car, go home. Sometimes you get an inquiry right before you say, yo, I'm already out. I have the item in my car. I can, I, I can stop by and deliver it today. Okay, cool. Come by. Right? All you're doing is taking it from one person to another, $100, $200, right? Easy money. Stuff like that. Another one that's good um, that I did for a while was uh, car flipping. You can make great money car flipping. However, you got to look at your state regulations because I don't want to get you in trouble. But in the state I was in, you can sell five cars a year without a, without a, uh, a license, without a dealer's license. So um, this is what I would do. I would search Facebook or Craigslist or whatever, and I would put, um, let's say if I got my income taxes or I had like a certain amount of money sitting around, I'd say like three grand or something like that. What I would do is I would look at cars for $5,000, $4,000, $6,000. And what I would do, <laughs> I would, I call this, this technique, this car moves, okay? Oh, sorry, this cash moves. This cash moves. I, I, for years, I did this. Years. I made a lot of money doing this. So it's called this, D-I-S-S, -S, not this, this. So whatever that car 
past, diss it, whatever it is. Like, just talk trash about it. Your objective is to tell them, like, it's a piece of sh but I will take it. You know what I mean? But this, this the car, but say, however, the cash offer, and then you come up, you get it, you move it from wherever they have it to the next area, put a sign on the front, and then pretty much put whatever they had on it, put uh, a little a little bit lower, right? So, like for example, let's say if there's a Honda Accord 2015, six you know ninety thousand miles, six thousand dollars. My what I used to do was take the price, cut it in half, add a hundred dollars, six thousand dollar car. Half of it, $3,000 plus $100, $3,100. Man, this car, it looks, uh, man, it really needs a wash, and this is not the body style I want. Uh, man, I wish it was a two-door, but I guess I'll take a four-door. Would you take $3,100 cash? The move. I can come right now within the next 24 hours and pick it up. Now, some people are going to cuss you out. So people are gonna call you an idiot. I don't give a shit. I'm not here to make friends. <laughs> I'm here to make money. You text 20 people that technique. Man, this car is not the color I want. It's kind of ugly. Man, this car looks faded. Man, those tires look like crap. Man, is that windshield wiper crack? Man, this is not even an EX. I wanted the LX. Man. Damn, did you even take care of this car? Man, that car looks filthy. The cash. 6,000, 3,100. 5,000, half, $100 more. 4,000, 2,100. I can be there in 24 hours to pick this up. Man, I really didn't want this damn car. But my sister was looking for one. I really didn't want to buy this car because it's ugly. I really didn't, I really don't want to do this, but would you take $2,100 for it? I can come pick it up 24 hours. You do that 10 times, somebody will bite. Because I don't know their circumstance. People will sell you stuff. Right? A lot of times, uh, one guy, I bought a Honda. Sorry. Um, a, a Ford Explorer. He wanted $7,000 for it. Offered him thirty six, dollars And he took it. And I said, yo, man, why are you selling? He said, I'm going to jail tomorrow for two years, and I want to keep the car. I think it's just going to rot. So I'll just take the $3,600 uh, 3, $3, to jail. I took it. I put an air freshener in it, vacuum, wash. Went to AutoZone or Walmart for sale sign. I put uh, $6,500 on it. And I sold it three days later. Three thou out. Too easy. Right? But certain states, you only can sell so many cars. So I'm not going to tell you to do anything illegal. Okay? Because we don't do illegal stuff here. But if you didn't sign the title, and then you just took the previous owner and tell them to sign it, and then you just hand the person the sign title, I mean, I don't know if that's technically considered not selling it. But I wouldn't do that. And it wouldn't count. But I would never do that. Don't do that. Decide a title, transfer the title over, and then it sells to someone else. And then I'd be your five, right? If you can make $2,000, $3,000 per car five times a year, that's $10,000 extra. And people say, man, ain't no money out here. <laughs> Bullshit. So... What we'll do is we'll go over some uh, a list that I I put up, and then we'll kind of talk about some of these side hustles. Turo, 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 side hustle place of the America, man. So if you want to rent out your car, if you have an extra car, I know some people that I talk to have a car that they never drive. 
And they could be renting that thing out for $80 a day, $50 a day. And then in Turo, it gives you insurance for your car. So you don't even got to have insurance for your car or some cars or some, some states. So I will check in with them. Walking dogs on Rover app. You can not only walk people's dogs, you can go to their house and babysit their dogs. I have a good friend who lives in people's houses and babysit their dogs full time. They live in their mother house whenever they're not um, working, but the majority of the time they just go to people's house, live in their house and uh, walk their dogs or let them in and out. Crazy. Buy cheap furniture, couch flipping. I have clients. I, I talk about this all the time on TikTok. I have a guy that I taught how to couch flip. He does it full time now, making about $150,000 a year by getting cheap couches, cleaning them up, or just taking the clean couches or, or couches that no one don't want anymore. They're moving out of country. They're moving out of state. They can't do nothing with He Him and his buddy start picking them up, take them, put them in a storage unit. At first, they just put them in the garage, but then they had too much space. They had too many of them. So then they start, they got a storage unit, put them in there, boom. Making 150000 while a year. He said, I quit my job to do this. He said he wanted to save up enough money to start buying, investing in real estate. But then he realized that he made more money than he probably would in real estate than just to flip couches all day. And that's what he does. Crazy. Sell low clothes. We know that. Become a, a mobile notary, which a lot of people are trying to convert to. I don't know if um, people are doing it or how, they, how it's working. But you can make $200, $300 a, a, a signing just to get people to sign like um, like a death certificate or a real estate sale and stuff like that. Taking bottle cans to recycling center. Uh, that's, that's homeless stuff. I ain't doing that. Assembly, uh, get on Task Rabbit, assemble people's furniture. You can do that. Sell bottled water at the concerts. That's kind of like the hustle, man. I ain't trying to get fined or something like that. But, you know, just, just ideas, right? Just stuff you can do, right? Rent out a room in your house. Affiliate marketing, dividend stocks, peer-to-peer -peer lending. So if you have access to capital, say you got a windfall of money, you can sign up for what's called peer-to-peer -peer lending. And if someone needs uh, money for a wedding or someone needs money for a down payment on a house or someone needs money for a car, you can loan a, from a person to a person. They they pretty much track everything. So like you give the app the money and then the money goes to that person and then the, that app charges them every month. It's almost like a you become a bank, which is actually pretty cool. Sell an ebook, online courses, YouTube, drop shipping, profitable app. Website, crypto mining, uh, hold long-term stocks. That's not really a pass. This is passive income, though. So rent out your car, Turo. Start a laundromat. Dude, come on, dog. This is going to take hundreds of thousands of dollars. That just ain't cheap. Did the machines you can start? But this, you know, that's kind of like a, it's like a, like a mini job. Not really a side hustle. Um, put ads on cars for people. You can put up bandit signs for people, too. I forgot the app off the top of my head. So whenever politician sees it around, you know, you see all those signs that's up in people's yards and stuff. People pay people to put them up. And then at the end of the year, people pay them to pick them up, too. Okay. So uh, let me see. Rent out items you have. Sell your stuff on eBay. Hire your savings account. Start a car wash. Hire a virtual assistant. Print it on demand. Side hustle. So a lot of this stuff is probably going to be repeated. Dog walking. Become a personal chef. If you're good at that, I don't know if that would probably work, but I wish there was an app. I almost wish there was an app where I could hire, I could take like home cooking from one person and 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 buy it. I, I don't know if it'll work though. People be getting sick and shit. You don't know, you don't trust everybody, but uh sell your hair. That's stupid. So <laughs> at least for me. Uh, use tax rabbit so you can go over people's house and help them move furniture or set up, you know, uh, do little tasks for them. But yeah, I mean, there's tons of things on it. Fiverr, if you wanted to do like build people websites, build their logos and stuff like that, you could charge people. I think anybody in my community, I showed you a cheap, easy way to make people logos. So you can just do that for free, send it to them, and then charge them 20, 30, 40 bucks. So, and that's free. You know, create a YouTube tutorial, sell tech works, 
blah, 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 become a virtual assistant, email marketing. Yeah, so, and also too, a lot of this stuff is re uh, repetitive, become a fitness instructor, yoga instructor, side, you know, dog walking. They talk about dog walking a lot, man. You can make good money on rover.com. Flip furniture, I already stated that. Dog walkings are here twice. It's a 20. And I see no here twice. I don't know. Anyway, so uh yeah. Real estate, you can do wholesaling is a good side hustle too, which my community, we talk about that a lot. So yeah. There's a some other ton of stuff on here. So just something to think about. So I mean, I gave you multiple different ways to get a side hustle or start a side hustle. And um, you'll be surprised of what people will pay you to do if you just say that you do it. So I would um, tell you to go out, test the market, see what works. And start getting some of that money coming in. And then when you get the money, most important, whenever you get the money, you allocate it towards something that is productive. Right? Pay down debt. Save up for a house. You know, uh, pay down credit card bills. Uh, invest it into a mutual fund. Invest it into an ETF. You know, that type of stuff. Don't do a side hustle just to take a vacation or, you know, eat out like that. It, it's counterproductive. It's not doing anything. You're, you're just spinning the wheels. Take the side hustle money. Like I talked about making the cars when I was damn trying to come up extra money and stuff like that. I was taking this, the flip money uh, from flipping cars and I would go buy real estate, you know? So it's take one short income and convert it to longer income, okay? So, hope you found value in that. Please go out there and get that hustle on, and I'll see y'all at the top. Thanks.